Okay, everybody. Hey, folks. I'm now in the car. So we're checking out all the uh, cool aspects of the car and Eric's going to explain uh, some things here. So uh, explain the um, this this insane uh, dash here. So this so, so you basically do everything from most of the things from the screen. I mean your drive is selected here. You can turn your windshield wipers on from the other stock and okay. your normal turn signal stuff. Okay. But your multimedia interface is all here. Uh, if you need to do navigation, everything is done from the map, so you can navigate to wherever you need to go. Cool. Uh, you can see uh, live traffic data and then charging points, like your supercharger stations. Ah, okay, yeah. Wherever you need to go and navigate to those as needed. And then everything in terms of like, if the car's in drive or reverse, uh, the status of the car, you can see the door is open, your, uh, your battery, uh, percentage and charging, uh, Very web cool. browser, everything everything is done on this screen. Every single thing that you really need to do is done here. And this has got that self-driving mode or whatever? Or yep. So you just push a button on here somewhere? Yep, so when you're driving you basically double tap the stock and that goes into autopilot mode and you can actually see everything happening here. It'll, it'll show you the lines, it'll show you where it's going, it'll show you all the cars around you and wow. what it's thinking basically. Um, rear view camera, TV, uh, and then all your uh, your controls for your uh, air is all through here. Okay. So there's no vents or anything to adjust. Everything is through this one slot here. So, so all oh, so ever, so no control. The, all the controls of the car are on this interface. Yeah. So if you need to, which makes sense, it's so much easier. Yep. So if you need to change where the air goes, you're doing it. Wow. That's that's ridiculous that's ridiculous I love this stuff so um, okay so everybody I'm gonna pass the phone over to Eric and uh, he's just gonna hold the phone and uh, point it at me just like I'm smiling like a like a eight-year-old kid who's in in his first car um, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna go for a spin here so um, so if you want to hold that Should on you? me and then so I'll put this seatbelt on um, so we got, uh, oh, there we go, put that up. Okay. Yeah, this is actually going to, what I'll do is I'll show you a. Oh, it's funny, it's going back to your mode. Yeah, I guess. this is going to me, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me, let me add one for you. There you go, so you can adjust the seat on the side I'm there. I'm good, I'm want. good, I'm ready to go. Okay, you're good. So I gotta put in my, hold on. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so you got to put in a code to get going. Yeah, that's right. All right, okay, everybody, we're ready to go. So uh, so I have to tell it to go into reverse. So yep. how do I do that? So just put your foot on the brake as usual yep. and then tap up on the stock. Okay. Maybe you make it go through to the indent, so just a little bit harder. Oh, I there see, yeah. yeah, okay. okay. And then we are off, everyone. And Crazy. It's, it's not in chill mode, so there's a ton of power right now <laughs> so, yeah okay and then for drive you just tap down oh, i get it yeah drive so i just have to adjust my mirrors now i see that my mirrors keep adjusting as i'm going what's going on with that so when you went into reverse it pointed down so that you could kind of look better if you're backing in wow you could see right down towards the wheels okay and then so now if i want to adjust the mirrors for my height so if you hit Dan there. Oh, okay. So I have to hit Dan on the interface because now I'm a new driver. Yeah, it's one. I, actually, sorry, let's do it this way. So hit the car. That's all okay. the, the car settings. Okay. And just tap either mirrors, mirrors or steering wheel. Okay, left. Okay, boom. And so then, you're adjusting left there. And then you use the the dial here on the oh, wheel. Oh, I see. Yeah. To adjust all right. up and down. Okay, so I'm going to adjust my mirrors. Boom, there we go. Um, and yeah, just click. Uh, there we go. Right. And then right mirror, okay. Actually, my right mirror is not bad. Okay, so I'm good. So just exit out of there. Exit out of there, and then yep. I'm ready to go. So yep. this, if I was telling, if I wanted to go somewhere, I would say it where I want to go. But I'm I'm good to go. So okay, we are in drive. So apparently, me and Eric were talking about this, and this is super cool. Do you remember when you were kids and you were playing with those uh, little cars that you'd put on a racetrack? When you pulled the trigger down, the car would go around and around and around. 
but as soon as you took your finger off the trigger, the car would stop immediately because there's no electricity going to it. So we're kind of spoiled by having this whole, you put the, the gas pedal down and then if you take your foot off the gas, you coast and then you have to use your brakes to stop. Whereas this uh, vehicle, if there's no electricity going to the car, it just automatically, see I just took my foot off the gas and you come to a stop because there's no electricity and the, the car actually winds itself down. But um, it's actually fairly easy to get used to this, but the, um, the acceleration is out of this world. Insane. If I step on the gas, it literally launches the car. And this is a uh, model, what's, what's the type it's, of car is this? It's an all-wheel drive Model 3. It's an all-wheel drive Model 3. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice car. It's an expensive car. But comparing this to, like, say, the Roadster, where you could go from 0 to 60 in, in less than 2 seconds, this thing here is 0 to 60 in, what was it, 4 seconds? 4 and a half, yeah. 4 and a half seconds. It's literally breakneck insane acceleration in such a this is this is fascinating getting used to this because i'm so used to taking my foot off that watch this i don't even have to hit the brakes because it literally stops the car so it's quite fascinating the way the way this thing works but the acceleration i'm telling you everybody the acceleration is out of this world i think everybody should uh, take a, a tesla for a test drive at least um, it's a fascinating experience. I'm just going to step on the gas here. It's, um, it's, I didn't even put the, the pedal down and you literally kind of feel like, ha, 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 like you're on a, uh, roller coaster ride. It's quite a fascinating journey. Um, so we're going to go back to the house now, but I'm telling you, this has been an amazing trip. I want to thank Eric for sure for, for, um, for letting me drive his car and, uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.